I'm Joey Blake, Director of Performance Nutrition and Wellness. Nutrition is an all-day event, so when you think about all the touch points that you have with nutrition, the first thing you do is you probably think about eating or drinking, and then the last thing you do is kind of eating and drinking. So when you're responsible for those areas, your day never really stops. At this point in the season, you're really trying to prevent the body from breaking down. When you go through four months of a season, nobody's at 100%. But I would say week to week, the team that is close to 100% as possible is always going to have an advantage. So if we're doing our best to get our guys back to 100%, you always want to be fresh as soon as possible and more often as possible. So there's nothing groundbreaking that we're going to do different as you get later in the season that you wouldn't do in the beginning of the season. But it is a matter of keeping up with that consistency. Nutrition can get very monotonous. So really for us, it's how can we make things that guys have grown tired of new and exciting to make sure that we are giving them the ability to make them want what they need and then it's working with our coaches and understanding that like, hey, if there's certain players that are gonna play more in the upcoming weeks, like it's always great from a fueling perspective for us to make sure they're adequately fueled with different demands for that given game. That can be making sure from a macronutrient side, we're getting something in a shake for a guy who may not be able to eat a pregame meal. And that's easy. He'll come to me and say like, hey, I'm not really feeling it and say, hey, no problem, I got you. And I'll, I'll whip something up, mix a couple things together. And it honestly might be better overall for what they need leading into the game than what they would have tried to have eaten and been unsuccessful at. It's just working with them day to day and figuring out what they do well and how we can make it work into performance. If somebody is very diligent about eating well and hydrating well, they don't deal with cramping as often as some other guys, like that day-to-day -day stuff from an athlete perspective. But I think the hardest thing about nutrition is it's not transactional. Uh, you know, we don't live in a microwave with nutrition of saying that, hey, if you eat this, you get this out of it. It doesn't happen that way. If that was the case, everybody would eat well all the time, every day. So I think until you get tapped into eating really well, you never know what that can do for you. So I think once guys do that and once you start eating really well, you'll never go back to the other side of that.